YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here, back on Total War Rome 2, and the Children of the Corn have ranked up here. I guess they've become even creepier. Uh, so let's see, he <laughs> went being enemy Aidens, Mercy, plus one authority, plus three cultural conversion. That doesn't hurt, especially since this guy's busy campaigning. And then we'll go down the authority tree with this guy. I just varied up. I mean, obviously some are better than others, but it's a campaign, and I don't really see the uh, AI giving me too horribly much of a challenge here, so I'll uh, just try some different stuff since I'm kind of in a dominant position on them right now. My new army probably needs a new name. The Bite of the Basilisk. Interesting. Well, considering that this isn't Harry Potter, these guys are going to have to be renamed. Um, Bite of the Cannibals? Ah, oh, come on! What a ripoff. Let's try this. There we go. I probably spelled cannibals wrong. Can't remember if it's 1C or 2. Whatever, you all can tell me in the comments. I don't feel like looking it up right now. So if I spelled it wrong, whatever. You all can correct me later. So now we got my cannibalic army being trained up. Ah, did you get the pun there? Usually saying Hannibalic. Now it's cannibalic. Yeah, okay, it wasn't that funny. It's okay. I'll forgive you. Let's see, so the Veneti do still have a province left. What's going on out here? And Tardes. Okay, so just another faction. I've got my army sitting over there. Uh, let's see, looks like Galatia has taken over all of Asia Minor. <laughs> Probably not what I expected. Huh, interesting. So, Macedon has taken over Italy. Galatia has taken over Asia Minor. Yeah, the Arverni are going to be in some serious hurt here. My, as soon as my troops are retrained, they're going to be under a big push. Looks like they're managing to hold off, though, against the uh, Boei over at Visontio. So I'll probably push against Visontio and Bibract all at the same time. Let's see what we got going on here. So Massalia, we don't need any patchy factories. So I'm going to build a library. Build a muster field. And I'm going to build a military wharf here as well. So that should get us set. I want to capture a few more minor, minor settlements and build my food up a little more now that I've upgraded all my buildings. Commander. We're about to go through probably another round of upgrades. At your command. Uh, Octaduran should be able to hold its own. Ready for battle. So let's get ready to go block Commander. the Arverni here. So we've got the Arverni blocked from entering our territory while my men continue to retrain. And make sure this guy's still down here for the military training. Uh, once we get our hoplites up with a, quite a few chevrons, it's going to be pretty ridiculous, I think, what they're capable of. Really need to get uh, Rome. Need to get the city upgraded. Got some public squalor. or some squalor going on. It's causing some public order penalties. This only adds two more. I think Rome's under a tax rate, though. Could just swap it over to Bread and Games because I want the food in the public order right now, and then I can upgrade that. I'm not too worried about the tax rate edict because my income's already through the roof, so really no reason to fuss over a few percentage. All right. So, Massalia is mine. Let's see. Really want to push forward on these guys, but really feel like I should do some proper retraining before we do so. Let's just uh, check for building upgrades. There's probably no reason not to upgrade that to a hoplite barracks just in case. This temple here, probably same thing, no reason not to upgrade it. Okay, let's end the turn. I have an unassigned skill right here on this dignitary that's embedded in this army. Let's see, military administration, so I can just make the upkeep on that army cheaper. The longer retraining time does make it a little, little more difficult to blitz if you take heavy losses with an army, so 
Uh, you know, if you're one of those people that likes to be extremely meticulous, you know, if you get in there and fight your battles to my people do not good, like luxury. This is what I want. But money. So now Sparta is completely on my side in the military alliance, and Athens is a client state. So now technically, I own the province of Macedon. Let's see. I counter the rumors, it's not going to cost that much. I'm actually losing influence right now. Let's secure promotion here. And secure another one here. And another one. <laughs> and another one, apparently. Don't know how many promotions we're going to go through with this guy, but that's four. I think he's finally done now. Good grief. Politics, stats, so we don't have any risk of civil war at the moment, which is great. Really nice, actually. Go ahead and start the military training. One more turn and this army's ready and we'll go uh, pay a visit to the Ligurians and remind them why they probably shouldn't have been fighting against my client states. It's not typically a good idea. I'm gonna give this uh, army one more turn. We're definitely getting a nice retraining rate. This army, though, is looking good to go against Vesontio. Plus, the Gauls left with all other reinforcements. Alright, do a balance. Occupy. So, Vesontio is now in our control. Let's start. I guess I could raise this province. Probably should have, but it'll be alright. Let's tear their crap down. Rebuild worthwhile buildings in their place. Armies, dignitaries. Okay, so we've got... We can only build one more army and one more fleet with our current level of... And you notice I have a 21 stack here. Pretty sweet, huh? Managed to screw the system there. Let's see, so I can build another building here. Public order is actually quite good. But I think I don't really need the sanitation buildings help with growth, which I'm not really going to need. Let's go ahead and uh, go. I think I'm going to go ahead and build a public forum, do an amphitheater, and then the last one I'll build another building to try and boost my uh, income. So that should work. All right. Our research rate should be springing up here pretty quick as soon as all this uh, libraries are finished. So we should see a nice jump in our research rate because over a couple of turns I upgraded a whole bunch of libraries. Looks like sponsored by Nike has gained some, uh, some uh, experience there. Their contract is becoming more lucrative. Let's see. Looks like the Bowie Iron Control. Just north of Asantio. Just kind of plan our next moves against the Arverdi and just keep pushing them out. We're definitely going to need to build some temples in the area to help get rid of the lingering Gallic culture and convert over to Hellenism. You stand idle while these scuttle. Not just yet. I'll attack them when I'm good and ready. All right, so we finished some research. Looks like the only other territory here is uh, Bagakum, which is owned by the Nervii, which I'm not concerned about at the moment. Okay, so that city ought to be in good shape. Let's go Amphitheatron, Library, Barracks. Your orders. Good, 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 good. Getting everything in nice shape. Oh, I forgot about the spy I've got just hanging out up here. Let's uh, have some fun with her. I think my spy just leveled up to rank 10, which is certainly not a bad thing. Give her one last degree of cunning, so she's a very cunning individual at this point. And this army is ready to go face the Ligurians. And I think... 
I think I'm gonna go and attack Junua and then Padavia. So we'll just have them waiting right there to uh, backstab the Ligurians. See how they like that. I'm guessing that not very much. This spy just ranked up too. So I've got some really good agents. The ones over there aren't needed right at the moment, but the reason I didn't bring them all the way over here is just because I'm concerned. Uh, it's possible I might take a little attrition marching through this path just because the pathfinding. Nope, we did alright, and I can guard this bridge. And my men won't be under any further attrition at the moment. Another turn there. Massalia should be pretty well under control here soon. And my food supply is actually dropping, not dangerously so yet, but we're getting there. I need to keep an eye on it. Got, got full militancy on this guy, so this army's all silver chevroned up as well. Let's see. That army's got pretty nice chevronage too. Might as well uh, send this guy down here. Not a whole lot else he can do for that army. Some military training for this guy, and let's go ahead and train some forces into this uh, into this army here. And go with some thorax pikes here as well. And I cannot get archers in this army, which is too bad. Agrianian Axemen would probably not be bad. Let's uh, just try some Slingers. See how they do. And then four Cav. And let's just throw some Agrianians in for the rest of my troops. Just might be kind of fun. They're kind of a middle of the road unit. And we'll make sure that that army gets completely trained up as well. Oh, looks like we can expand at Brindisium. No reason not to take this. Wait until my food supply is a little more stable. Oh, what's their public order? Oh, it's, yeah, it's not all that good down there. Oh, good. We can get more food here. Just two, but that's totally worth the upgrade. That's going to cost me more food that I don't want to spend at the moment. I can upgrade that building. food but we get some nice benefits from all these but we're gonna I'm gonna wait until my food supply increases a little I'm just gonna leave this army to guard uh, Massalia for now while uh, these two armies can be used more aggressively perhaps looks like we should be able to start walking through our Bernie te territory with relative ease I think Let's see the Arverni marching through there Join your war against the Nervii. To take to arms against these human I don't really feel like going out of my way against the Nervii, nor provoking them. Not that I'm particularly scared of them, but just don't see any sensible reasoning to that. So I have a noble woman food shortage. So I did actually upgrade too many buildings. Genius. So, good grief. Counter the rumors for 24,000. Next. Um, let's see. How did I manage to get a food shortage? That was kind of stupid. This will give me more food, so let's do that. Where am I issuing my edicts at? Because we could just do another bread and games edict, too. So, I got two edicts. One is at Rome, and we've got food coming off of it. It's not there. This one is already a bread and games edict as well. That'll take away even more food if I build that. I guess I just built too many buildings, and my food shortage is about to get worse if I don't go back through and cancel some of these structures, like these libraries. Unfortunately, having to cancel them. But it will certainly make my food supply grow much shorter. That can be built without any food. Go 
those are both going to be minus one food as well, as is this. Uh, we can just cut back on those for the moment. I want to finish the amphitheatron, though. That one, though. Let's just tear this building down. If I take Babrak, that's not really going to help my food supply a whole bunch, really. Need to capture some territory where I can actually build some farms. But we might as well capture it. No reason not to. The Gulls had it poorly defended. And that's going to really screw up my food supply. Yeah, so I'm actually going to take some attrition probably in some of my armies. Because the... Uh, food supply issues going on, but we will see what we can do to stabilize it, figure it out. We can take Genua right here from the Ligurians. I'm not going to call my allies to help, it's not necessary. Auto resolve this, wow they're going to give me a ton of losses, which I don't really think is fair, but whatever. That's going to bump up my Imperium. Tear down these structures here. There we go. And we can build some farms uh, at Genua. So that should help alleviate some of the uh, food issues as well. And I'll get my food supply built back up over the next couple of turns. Shouldn't be too difficult of a challenge. Let's just make sure that I canceled any buildings that were going to further the problems of my food supply. Pretty sure I did. upgrade anything else that's going to cause me issues either. Okay. Asontio. Yeah, I need to capture some minor provinces and get some farms going. So we have some skills that we can divvy out first. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Successfully launching an ambush, wealth from industry, movement speed for light cav, armor for all units, sure. Go strategist there. Level 10, noblewoman here. Get some awesome military administration. And then this person. Let's go with some cunning for this general. Just have some fun there. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can fix the food supply issue here pretty quick. At your command. A little gold would make the people <laughs> of Carthage very. Carthage happy. wants a big payoff. Uh, I don't see why not. I don't mind having them like me even more. So. Yeah, Carthage hates pretty much the same people I do, so this is this is okay. I'll hand them some money. Air likes Carthage anyway, so. Pretty gracious of me to hand them that much money, but if it was anybody besides Carthage, I doubt it would have happened. And I may go ahead and go smash Trevorum. The Tartes have ended their non-aggression pact. They might have some potential farming territory as well. So I'll probably go crush them. Yep. But my food supply is now back in the positive. And we should have some spots to start building farms. So let's do so before we focus on anything else. Right here's to be taken care of. Okay. I've got enough buildings here that I might go ahead and just drop this Traveler's Lodge. And then Germania Minor. Yeah, we're probably going to go take out Trevorum. I can't upgrade any of these at the moment because running low on food, so let's just leave that be, 
And then here, let's run a fishing port. Homesteads. That should boost me up some food pretty quick. It's so weird how farming settlement requires food. Uh, the one food will probably be worth it for that, so... Yeah, there we go. We've upgraded what we can for now. Brindisium's got some public order issues, probably because there's... Yeah, there's Latin and Punic order both here. It's not really helping the scenario any. Go ahead and build that amphitheatron just to make sure it doesn't become a problem over time. I don't think it will. We hunger for battle. And, we yep, hunger all these troops took some more attrition on that last turn. But, uh, like, like I said, my food supply should be turning around here. And let's go ahead and lash out and try and take Nemosis as well. And then I was thinking about lashing out here and taking Trevorum. Again, I don't want to call my allies to help just in case they don't want to join me. Put these guys to the sword real quick. And I'm going to raise their settlements to the ground. And then I'm going to build farms here as well. I need to go capture Bagakum, which completes this province. So now we have some farms on the way. We can probably go ahead and start fleshing out a little bit of this. Let's see. Zeus. And a library. Upgrade that. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and spend some of my money fleshing that out. I'm going to have to be careful, though, still about the food supply just to make sure we don't overdo it. But we should have a good amount of food headed our way here. Plus, there's a few more minor settlements that are going to be captured by me here pretty quickly. And I know this episode's actually been pretty much all campaign map, too. But uh, we're doing really well, so... I guess sometimes battles have to be fought with the economy. <laughs> An economic battle like no other. As Patchy's meat shield tactics cost his citizens more and more lives. Oh wow, yeah, the Nerbi I have a pretty good force. Quite a few forces, actually. That'll be entertaining. Get to destroy some Nerbi I. And there comes their uh, allies too, wanting to come after me. It's a peace negotiated. Food shortage again. What the screw? I guess perhaps there's a food shortage due to unseasonal conditions as well. That could be it. It's pretty dang annoying. Let's flop through and make sure. Yeah, one more turn for those buildings to complete. Public order is good here, so let's just build one of those. Yeah, just one more turn and we should have a lot of the food stuff settled. It's getting kind of annoying, but all the unseasonal conditions probably aren't helping either. Which means these guys probably didn't really retrain like I wanted them to. They'll retrain faster going through this way. Genua is going to have some public order issues. Octoduran having public order issues. Ah, we don't want to complete that and lose even more food, too. I stop that from happening. Let's see. I think I'm just about out of time for this. Let's go see if we can capture... Yeah, these guys ended their non-aggression pact with me. I say we go capture their territory and take their food. Because we could turn this place into a nice little food producing settlement. Potentially. We'll have to see. See how it works out. Okay. I think we can take Nemosos as well. And probably gain some more food from its capture. Oh, we got a gold mine here too. I should have flattened this place, like raised it, but it's okay, we'll live. 
Uh, and actually capturing that building is going to turn my food supply positive through the turn end, which will be kind of nice. You can call me Max. Sabotage. Okay, sabotage those jerks who are raiding, and it's causing me actually a lot of problems at Massalia. Are the Venetti raiding me? Why are the Venetti raiding me? Thought they were my client state. Um, yeah, that's not gonna fly, you jokers. Yeah, have a nice swim, jerks. Let's see, did that extinct their faction as well? Faction destroyed, good. Well, that took some of the pressure off of Massalia due to raiding. Those crotch heads were doing raiding on me. Gathering supplies. And I'm gonna go up here and knock out that little Gallic army as well, and put an end to all this redonkulous raiding. Yeah, this army can move around and take Padavium. We can build more farms there as well. Uh, Liguria actually could potentially threaten some of my territories here. Looks like they may potentially threaten Suggestica. We've got a spy here, though. Take that spy out and... Try and poison the provisions of this Ligurian army. That'll prevent them from accomplishing nearly as much on the next turn. So, anyway, I think I'm out of time for this episode. Air of Carthage, signing off.